Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jess back at it with a new video and today we have a manicotti pasta recipe and as you guys can see it looks very delicious but we're going to be using different ingredients for our recipe. It's right here if you guys would like to try this one on this picture. Other than that we're going to get it started with the ingredients. In here I have a little bit of onion and some cilantro. I have my orange pepper, yellow pepper and I have a carrot. I also have my cheese and I have some chicken right here and I have my sauce and this is the sauce that I'll be using you can use any different type of sauce for our seasonings we have garlic salt black pepper and salt and we have olive oil right here when you open the box this is what you're gonna be looking and we have one two three four five six seven so we have seven in the bottom seven on top you are gonna be needing a pot full of water I already went ahead and put my pasta in my pot, so we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Also, I am gonna be using butter. I'm gonna be using this butter for my pasta. Our next step is gonna be grinding my carrot. So I'm gonna grind it, put it in this little thing. This is our carrot after it's grind. We're gonna get started with these little babies right here outcome of the yellow pepper we have our orange pepper all cut up too ready to go we already chopped all this up and our next step is gonna have to be draining we're gonna drain the pasta now our next step is getting another pan and getting your oil adding one tablespoon because we're gonna heat up our chicken that's almost cooked before we pour our chicken in the pan we're gonna be putting our onion and cilantro that i've been saving So we're putting our chicken. We're gonna be adding black pepper. We're gonna add garlic salt and a little bit of salt. Now that we have our seasonings in here, we're gonna go ahead and mix it. We're gonna let this sit here for about two minutes until it's cooked. Now we're gonna be putting all our veggies that we cut and grind it in our little pan. Now that we put our ingredients together, we're going to let this sit here in the pan and let it cook up. Now that it's done, I put everything in this little bowl again. And I'm going to be putting this cheese on top and I'm going to go ahead and mix it. This is how it looks mixed. And now we're going to go ahead and stuff our little pasta. You guys see how it has this opening in the middle? We're going to try our best and stuff all we can in here. While we are stuffing our pasta, I am going to be boiling my sauce in this pan that I just used. This is how my sauce looks on the pan. We're gonna let this sit here for about three minutes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be stuffing one with you guys. This is how you stuff them guys. Just put everything in there. This is how my pasta looks. They're all stuffed up. Our sauce is ready, so our last step is coming up. So I have one of these things right here. I don't know what they're called. I have my sauce, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour up a little bit in the bottom. And I'm going to be doing this just so that it could get the juices from the bottom and it won't get stuck. Now we're going to be getting our little pasta right here and placing them one by one. We are going to be putting some foil paper on top of this. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this foil paper right here. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 for four minutes. I'm going to put four minutes on my timer. After my 10 minutes pass, this is the outcome. Wow, delicious. 